In the previous session, we discussed about accounting for share capital in that the concept called forfeiture of shares. So we also did two problems on forfeiture of shares. In today's session, we will discuss more about the forfeiture of shares. In today's session, we will do only one problem on accounting for share capital. We will go in detail. If anybody did not understand so how to solve this, today you will understand how to solve this problem. Why? Because we will do one by one. I will not explain you this solution, but I will do that solution. Now, Manos Trading Company Limited issued how many shares? 5,000 shares. While reading question, always remember, concentrate or highlight numbers so that easy to remember. 5,000 equal shares of rupees 10 each. We got two informations. Number of shares, how much? 5,000. What is the each share value? Each share value is rupees 10. Now, with a premium of rupees 2. Now you got the answer. So, 10 rupees share value plus 2 premium. What is the total value? The total value is 12 rupees. Number of shares, 5,000. Total value of the share is rupees 12. Now, if you add these numbers, it should match with 12. Always remember this. If you add all these, it should matches with your total value of shares. Now, application 1, allotment 4, first call 3, final call 4. What is the total? The total value is 12. What is your total value of your share? 12. If you divide installment wise, then also you will get 12. Now, all the shares were subscribed and the money duly received. Whatever installments are there, everything is collected. Except final call on 200 shares. Everybody paid properly, but on 200 shares, they have not paid final call. What is the concept called? If any shares are not properly paid, what company does? They will take back, they will cancel that shares. What do you mean by cancellation? The cancellation is called as for feature. The cancellation is called as for feature. And one more thing you have to remember, everything is paid properly, but final call on 200 shares are not paid. Means application proper, allotment proper, first call proper, but final call not properly paid. In our problem, no changes up to first call. While doing final call, we need some alterations. We'll do that later. Up to first call, we don't have any problem. Why? Because they have paid properly now. And these shares were reissued. This concept will do while doing journal entry. First, we'll go with application, allotment, and first call. As I told you, you have to prepare what journal entries. Now, for application, you have two journal entries. Allotment, two journal entries. First call, two journal entries. Total, six journal entries up to first call. We'll solve up to first call. Again, we'll come back to your question and we'll go for final call as well as your adjustments. Now, up to first call, what you should remember? Number of shares you should remember. What is your number of shares? 5,000. Now, what is your application rupees? 1. What is your allotment? 4. What is your first call? 3. You have to remember number of shares 5,000, application 1, allotment 4 and first call is 3. 
in this allotment in the bracket they have given premium is included now what is your premium your premium is rupees 2 out of 4 rupees 2 rupees is what premium will solve e one by one no no so in today's session i am not going to explain the solution why because it will be confusing for you that's why along with you i will also solve this problem so that you will get to know how to solve this problem what are the journal entries we have how to calculate amount everything you will understand today now so two journal entries first two journal entries for what application now serial number normally it should be date column but usually in your problems dates will not be given if dates are not given we can use this as serial number for application how many journal entries you have two now what are those journal entries bank account that are two share application account this is your journal entry number one for application we have one more journal entry that is a second one serial number two share application account return to share capital account share capital account this one is debit and this one is credit now in this bank to share application and share application to share capital we have two entries for your application now before doing your problem i already told you in your previous class we should write heading now which company we are doing manoj company you should write in the books of in the books of manoj company limited this is must you have to write heading then only you should start your problem now your application is over now what are your number of shares your number of shares 5000 what is your number of shares 5000 what is your application money i'll go back your number of shares how much 5000 how much is your application? 1 rupee. Now, 5000 multiplied with 1. You need calculator to calculate. Yes? Yeah. 5000 into 5. 5000 and 5000. So, two journal entries, you will get same number or same amount. 5000 and five this is all about your application so two journal entries you learn narrations will learn later narrations will learn later first understand journal entry and how to fill amount these are two journal entries all about your application now we'll go to allotment now serial number three and serial number four allotment how many journal entries two now share allotment account that are two share capital account share allotment account data to share capital in this problem we have premium also then to share premium account so 
this is your third journal entry. You have to remember this. Every problem, the journal entries will not change. It will remain same as it is. Bank account data two. Which one we are doing? We are doing allotment. So it should be two share allotment account. No. So these are the two journal entries you have to remember for allotment. Now, how to calculate amount now in this? Again, I'll go back to your question. Now, number of shares, it is common, 5,000. How much is your allotment for? In this allotment, we have premium and balances capital. We'll solve that now. How much is your allotment? Rupees 4. So, number of shares 5000 multiplied with 4. 5000 multiplied with 4. It is 20,000. Now, in this 4 rupee, premium is included. Then, simple. Your premium is how much? 5000 multiplied with 4. 2. Out of 4, if you cancel 2, what is the balance? 2. So, 5000 multiplied with 2. How much it is? Yeah. So, it is 10,000 and 10,000. Simple calculation. Every problem will be same. Instead of 4 rupee, they may give 5. If they give 5 rupee, then how to calculate? Premium is 2. Out of 5, if you minus 2, what is the balance? 3. 5,000 into 3, 5,000 into 2. Okay. So, you have to minus premium. Your third journal entry is over. Now, we will go to fourth one. So, what is your allotment money? 20,000. Same thing will be repeated. So, it will be 20,000 as well as 20,000. This is all about your allotment. So, just stop or pause your video and write on all this journal entry. We'll go to first call journal entries. Now, journal entry number 5. Journal entry number 5 and journal entry number 6. Application 2 entries, allotment 2, first call 2 final call 2. For each stages, we have to pass two journal entries. Now, in this first call, share first call account data to share capital This is your fifth journal entry. Now we'll go to sixth one. Bank account return to share first call account. Remember this journal entry. Why? Because after first call, which one we will do? Final call. Journal entry will be same. Share final call account data to share capital. Bank account data to share final call. Instead of first, we use word called final. Journal entry will be same, but words will change. Now, share first call account data to share capital. Bank account data to first call. I'll go back to your question. Now, number of shares, how much? 5,000. What is your first call? 3. 5,000 into 3. Yeah. Now, number of shares 5,000 multiplied with 3. How much you will get? 15,000 and 15,000. 15,000 and 15,000. Same amount will be copied. So, your answer is 15,000 and 15,000.
सेम थिंग पॉज आर स्टॉप योर वीडियो राइड ऑन ऑल दिस जर्नल एंट्री सो सेम थिंग विल फॉलो फॉर फाइनल कॉल ऑल्सो बट फाइनल कॉल यू हैव एडजस्टमेंट वाई बिकॉज एवरीबडी आर नॉट पेड प्रॉपरली फ्यू मेंबर्स दे हैव फेल्ड टू पे सो वी हैव टू डू दैट कैलकुलेशन राइड ऑन अप टू फर्स्ट कॉल विल गो टू फाइनल कॉल now so what is the journal entry for final call before i write please write down the journal entry for final call same journal entry will be repeated but instead of first call we write it as final call your journal entry number 7 and 8 now shell final call account to share capital account then what is the next journal entry bank why we write bank means you are receiving cash bank should be debited bank account data to share final call account so these are the journal entries for your final call now we'll go back to your question now number of shares how much it is 5000 again same concept now what is your final call money your final call money is how much 4 number of shares 5000 and final call money is Four rupee five thousand multiplied with four. But in this, all the shares were subscribed and money duly received, except final call. In that final call, two hundred shares, two hundred members are not paid. How many members are there? Five thousand members. How many members are not paid? Two hundred. Remember this. We'll go to answer. You have to remember number of shares how much five thousand. What is the final call money four? How many members are not paid two hundred? These three numbers you have to remember. Yeah, your final call first entry here your bank is not there, so will not do any calculation. Normal answer only number of shares five thousand. Final call how much four five thousand into four how much twenty thousand twenty thousand and twenty thousand this is about your final call how much you have to pay five thousand into four but everybody are paid or not the answer is no why because out of five thousand. How many members are not paid? Two hundred members are not paid. How many members are paid? Four thousand eight hundred members are paid. Clear? Any doubt? No. So out of five thousand, two hundred members are not paid. Then how many members are paid? Four thousand eight hundred members are paid. Multiplied with what is your final call money? Four rupee. So multiplied with four. This is the calculation. Clear? Now four thousand eight hundred into four. What is your answer? Nineteen thousand two hundred and nineteen thousand two hundred. Like this, you have to calculate. So if Everybody are paid. Then simple calculation, same amount copy paste. How we did in first call allotment application. If anybody are not paid properly, then from the total number of shares, you have to minus the person who are not paid. In this two hundred shares are not paid. We deducted on the balance number. We multiply it with your final call money. So these are the calculation for your eight journal entry. 
will recap or will revise once again. So on application to journal entries, you have to remember these journal entries. Allotment to journal entries, everybody paid properly. So 20,000 and 20,000 amounts will not change. First call again to journal entries, everybody paid properly. So your amounts will not change. So it will remain same. Final call again to journal entries, everybody are not paid properly. How much has to be collected? 20,000. How much collected? 19,200. Why? Because 200 members are not paid. Means 200 members, they have not paid 4 rupees. Means 800 you have not collected. You have not collected 800. So from 20,000, we deducted 800. So these are the journal entries, which is for issue of shares. Up to this, we call it as issue of shares. Now, how many members are not paid? 200 members. These 200 members shares will be what? Cancelled, means forfeited. For that, we need to pass three journal entries. Total, you will get eight plus three. 11 journal entries for your examination. 8 journal entries just to pass issue of shares. If anybody not paid properly, those shares will be cancelled. For cancellation, again we will do 3 journal entries. This is your 12 marks problem. We will go for the forfeiture, means this cancellation and we will wind up with this problem. So these are the 3 journal entries for forfeiture of shares. We'll do this. Now, what will be your journal entry? What you should remember, the journal entry will be 9, 10, and 11. Total, 11 journal entries. First, first 8 will be what? Issue. And next 3 will be what? Cancellation. Now, share capital, share capital account, to share final call account to share for feature account. This is your journal entry number nine. I'll explain you, but you have to mug up, you have to remember these journal entries. Why? Because these things will not change. Same journal entry for every problems. Now, next journal entry. Next journal entry is bank account data. So this must share for feature account data to share capital account. This is your second journal entry in cancellation. The last journal entry, share for feature account data to capital reserve account. These are the journal entries you have to remember for cancellation of shares. Now, once if you remember these shares, then it is a simple task you have to fill with numbers. Now, all the calculation what we did in the previous one, everything on what? 5,000 shares, 5,000 shares, everything on what? 5,000 shares. Now we are not issuing, we are cancelling. How many shares we are cancelling? We are cancelling only 200 shares. So our calculation on 
these three journal entries only for 200 shares. What is the actual value of shares? Now, again, I'll go back to question. I'll explain you there. Now, in this, number of shares, 5,000. Calculation on 5,000 shares over. We don't want 5,000 shares. Now, our calculation will be only on what? These 200 shares. Because we are cancelling only 200. We are not cancelling 5,000. Now, 200 shares on final call. Final call not paid. What is your final call? 40. Just you remember how many shares we are cancelling? 200. What is the final call? 4. The concept I will explain you while doing journal entry. But you have to remember final call is 4. Number of shares 200. Actual value of the share is how much? 10. Don't consider premium. While cancelling, premium concept will not come. Now, the actual value is 10. Cancellation is 200 shares. And these shares are reissued at what price? 8. Just remember this number 8. I will explain you while doing journal entry. Now, these three journal entries for cancellation are for feature. So, these concepts are very important. Why? Because after your PUC, second PUC R12, if you go for BCom or BBA, again you will get this accounting for share capital. That will be 20 marks problem. If you go for CA, CS or ICWI, now ICWI we call it as CMA, Cost Management Accountant. There also you will get accounting for share capital, minimum 12 marks problem. Other than your professional course, if you go for MCOM or MBA, again you will get 15 or 18 marks problem on accounting for share capital. So this chapter is very important as per your second PUC and also for your future post graduation also. Okay. Now, share capital. Now, what is your number of shares? Not 5,000. Your number of cancellation of shares? 200. Number of shares? 200. What is the actual value? 10. 200 into 10. Your value is how much? 2,000. In the question, I will explain to you which are the numbers you should remember. How many shares we are cancelling? 200. What is the value of each share excluding premium? The value is 10. 200 into 10, the answer is 2000. Now, come to these two. Share final call. What is the value of final call? Final call is only 40. Now, 200 multiplied with 4. What is your answer? it will be 800. Remember, if anything, any journal entry after 2, we call it as credit. The amount should be in credit column. Anything which is before 2, we call it as debit. It should be in debit column. Now, last one, calculation not required. Why? Because what is your debit column? 2000. What is your credit column? 800. What is the difference? The difference is 1000. Simple. Don't calculate. Always remember your debit and credit should be equal. You got 2000. You got 800. What is the difference between 2000 and 800? The difference is 1200. For your understanding purpose, Write down here, it is 2000 minus 800. So your answer is how much? 1200. Clear? So this we call it as cancellation of shares. 200 shares, they have not paid properly. So they have taken back their shares. So that is called cancellation of shares. Now, we'll go for second one. The second one is what? 
Once the shares are cancelled, what company does the shares will be given to somebody else? For example, you have taken bike on installment basis, you have not paid properly, what financier or company will do? They will take back your bike. What they will do with that bike? They will sell it to somebody else. That is called reissue of shares. 200 members are not paid properly. They have taken back their shares and selling to somebody else. Now, for what price it is sold? I'll go back to question so that you will get to know what is the price. Reissued them as fully paid at 8 per share. Actual value is what? 10. They are selling at what? 8. So, they are selling at less price. We'll go back to your answer. Remember, actual value is 10, but they are selling for what price? 8. Now, your bank. Number of shares, how much? 200. They are selling at what price? 8. What is the actual value? Actual value is what? 10. They are selling at what price? 8. What is the loss? 2 rupees. Because 10 rupees shares, they are selling at 8 rupees. 9, 10, 2 rupees there, it is a loss to the company. Now, 200 multiplied by 2. So, it is simple. The selling price is 8. The difference between 10 and 8 is called 2. Now, 200 into 8, how much? 1000. 600. Now, 200 into 2, how much? 400. So, these are the calculations for your reissue of shares. Now, remember, as I told you, your debit column and credit column should be same. Now, your debit column is done. After 2, whatever comes, that we call it as credit. No need of any calculation. If you add these two, how much you will get? 2000. Your answer is 2000. Now, add us one more method to calculate. The total value is how much? 200 into 10. The total value is 2000. So, these are the two journal entries for cancellation and reissue or resale. Done. Yeah, you may find little complicated, but it is not complicated. You have to work out many times. So once if I done with my session, what is your work? You have to write down the question. Again, write down all the journal entries and try to solve without seeing answer. If you work out once or twice, you will understand this better. Why? Because the main advantage is the journal entries will not change. Only numbers will be changed. Now, the last journal entry, the last journal entry is your share forfeiture account data to capital reserve. What do you mean by capital reserve? If company has any excess amount, any excess amount in case of issue or forfeiture, that excess amount will be reserved will be kept it in capital reserve account. This can be used to issue bonus shares. This can be used for any upcoming shares which are issued at discount. So this can be used for capital related expenses. So that we call it as capital reserve account. Any excess if we get from issue or cancellation that will be saved in an account called capital reserve account. Now, how to calculate this capital reserve? Simple calculation. Come back to your first journal entry. Share for future. How much you have? 1,200. Come to second journal entry. Share for future. How much you have? 400. Both are in opposite side. This is in credit side and this one in debit side. Now, your last answer is simple. How much you have? 1200 minus 
in this how much you have 400 so you have 400 1200 minus 400 how much 800 your answer is how much 800 this is all about your issue of shares as well as for future of shares issue of shares how many journal entries eight for future of shares how many journal entries three so eight plus three total how many journal entries eleven issue of shares should be done on what total shares like five thousand shares your for future will be done on what how much is not paid? How much is cancelled? In this problem, 200 shares are cancelled. So, we'll go to next slide. What is next? So, again, the same thing. We'll do revision as well as as per your textbook. What are the problems you have as well as as per your examination problems, your previous year question paper problem. Everything we will solve in coming session. In today's session, we completed one problem on accounting for share capital. So it may be lengthy session, but it made you easy to understand what is accounting for share capital. So better take a plain paper, work out same problem twice so that you will understand while working out Please don't keep answers with you. Without answer, try to solve so that you can solve next problems or rest of the problems. Thank you.